Right everyone, Web Collector here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to make a coin pouch that can be used as a cos. So this wasn't my idea originally, this is actually my brother Malx who is a JJR survival. And this is a money pouch that's 100% legal to carry but could be used as a cos. You can see it there, so now we'll get on to the tutorial and then I'll talk about it afterwards. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to want a soft piece of leather, this is off of a sofa, this is about 21 centimetres by 17 centimetres. It's not as thick as like sheath leather. You're going to want some very strong thread, <clears throat> a big needle, but any needle will do. I've got a really big one, only three inches I think. A hammer and a nail to pierce some holes into the leather. Something to hammer the nail into, some of these drawstring catches, two of those, possibly some scissors, you're going to need some kind of string, paracord is what I'm using, about two foot, I've got about three or four foot there, you only need about two foot I think. Possibly a thimble but I never used mine, oh and a hole punch, which I didn't show. So get your leather, fold it in half like this, <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is pierce the holes to stitch through. So you just want to put the leather down on whatever you're going to hammer through, and then using the, the hammer and the nail, just pierce the holes. And then just go along the hole of the uh, lever till you've got the holes all the way along. <coughs> and you can see the holes there. So yeah, so that's the holes done. Now you just want to start stitching through. It's quite a simple thing to do. Stitch through all the way down the the length and the bottom of the lever and what I did I stitched all the way through one way and then I stitched it back the other way so it's like double stitched through and I was using two two um, strands at one time so it's almost like four stitches through so you just see me just stitching it there and I think here I'm just about to get into the end of the stitching it's not hard, there you go, you can see it's stitched all the way round. You could go slightly in further if you want, and I'll just tie it off. So now what you want to do is turn it inside out, or it was inside out anyway, so you want to turn it back the right way. So just keep turning it, you know, keep like pushing it through, it'll come through. If not, use some, like a, a rounded off stick, or like this, <laughs> the end of the hammer will work. The handle of the hammer to push it, uh, you know, out. So now you've got the basic pouch. Now you just want to make four holes, or well, eight holes, but four through both sides. And I was using one of these hole punch <coughs> things that you can buy, leather hole punch. And you just basically just squeeze it until you hear a click, and then it cuts the holes. And then that's for your drawstring. So, in a minute, you'll see that those are fully done. Four on each side, so I then you just want to thread your paracord through in a minute. I'll measure the actual uh, length of the paracord I used, but I think you want at least two foot, maybe slightly more, which I'll explain in a minute. So, thread it through. I don't think it really matters how you thread the paracord through. I threaded it through... Outside in, outside in if you know what I mean. You can start in, out, in, out if you want, if that makes sense. So there's the string on, you can see how I did it. So you got the the pouch done now, so now you want to just add one of the drawstring uh, pulleys and then 
there's your money, put that in. And then you could just leave it like that if you wanted to, but the way this was designed was you put an extra one of those drawstring catches on and it holds the the like ball of coins at the end like a cosh. So put the second one on and then it's just a case of measuring how much you want the little handle to be because <clears throat> you want it you want it to go over your hand but you don't want it too loose. And then just tie a knot in that. And you can always just adjust this if it's wrong. It seems like the knot wants to be about at the end of the pouch, if that makes sense. Just so it just fits over, look. This, I think I did the first one a bit too long. You'll see I added a second one. But this is the idea. So then it is, it's just like a cosh, but it's legal to carry because it's just a money pass. So there it is, it's basically done there. And then... Here it is finished. So that is how you would use it. To carry it, you could carry it like that, but I recommend if anyone ever wanted to search you for some reason, as you pull it out of your pocket, pull the drawstring up like this and show them it like that and say, look, it's just a money pouch, which is 100% legal, you know. No one can say you can't carry money pouch, which is all this is. It's just uh, it's a money pouch you can use as a cosh. You know, get your money out, you know, you can put a little bit of a shopping list in there, stuff like that. You know, use it as an actual wallet, you know. So yeah, there it is. I'll probably do a full review soon. Like I said, this wasn't actually my idea. It was my brother's, who's JJR Survival. I'll add a link to his channel. Don't forget to visit my blog either. Link will be below. And any more info, if you need it, will be below as well. So yeah, that is basically it. How to make a coin pouch cosh. Hunting legal to carry because it is just a coin pouch, you know. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.